outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we've no place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey guys, and thanks for coming back to another video. Happy holidays. So if you saw the Winterlicious or Tis the Seasons tag that I did, um, and if not, I will link that of course, um, then you probably saw that I said I was not going to decorate my apartment. But because I really, really, really miss this whole winter season and the holiday season and just the whole like funness of, of funness, I think I just made up a word, um, the whole like fun environment or the atmosphere surrounding the seasons or the holiday season, um, I really, really miss it. So I decided I am going to decorate the So there's going to be a lot of silvers, golds, reds, and greens. So those are kind of like our wintry holiday colors. Um, and I also decided to go with like a Chrismica theme. So this can work if you're um, celebrating Christmas, if you're celebrating Hanukkah. Um, so I hope you like these. They're very, very simple and all very, very cheap to do. So the first thing that I will show you how I did is actually these balls. So this is half a ball. <laughs> Um, and then you buy, actually it comes to halves and I just got these at like a local craft store. I'm sure you'll be able to find these at like Michael's. Um, and basically they come completely clear, they're plastic. And I just used um, the Martha Stewart Crafts uh, multi-surface metallic acrylic craft paint. And it is so easy to use in metallic gold, metallic silver, um, and then gold sparkles and red sparkles. So I actually, what I did was I did the first ones which were matte gold and then matte silver. And then all you do is you pop them together and it becomes like a little ornament ball and you have to pop them together in line because actually they have a little um, hoop or sorry, a little hole where you can put through a string and so you can tie this and make this into an ornament and um, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I might just hang them from like the ceiling or from a shelf or something. So we're going to have to see about that. And of course I will show you the finished product. Um, but these are so cheap um, and so easy to do. And for the sparkly gold one, what I did was first I covered it in the metallic um, so that it would be cover and covered and opaque. And then I did one or two coats actually of the gold glitter so that it will be very glittery. And so now together I will show you how I did the um, red ones because I have to do another coat as you can see. There are some places that, you know, the problem with the glitter is that you really have to kind of slap it on and if you don't do it everywhere, they kind of like stick together and then you do get like bald spots. I actually use two like plastic um, gloves and the reason I don't use like the latex, like the doctor gloves is because I hate the way the powder makes my hands feel after just like makes them so dry so less talking more working um what i do is i just take the ball it's really simple actually and then i just take the paint and i blob a whole bunch of it on just like that and then i take this sponge and i just start patting and patting and patting it around and the reason i am patting or pushing um, is because I really want it to go on. It's actually just like applying foundation if I think about it. Um, I just want it to go on thick and full coverage. So this is actually my, I think fourth or fifth layer or coat. So just um, a few other things that I did for like really cheap decoration. I just bought gift wrap. Um, so like a nice sparkly um, gold one and then like a red striped one. And I just took empty boxes and wrap them and you can if you want to go a little bit more fancy you can i'm going to probably get like bows and do fancy stuff on them but basically just like wrap gifts and, and place them as decorations i think that is super festive um especially if you're not doing like the whole gift giving and everything with your family or if you don't celebrate christmas it just, it just like feels fun when you feel like there's like gifts all over the place i don't know but if you do <laughs> celebrate hanukkah some of the things that I've done was I just went to like a craft store and I actually found this candle holder. It's like a tr traditional um, Hanukkah candle holder and I purposely did not do the back so that I could show you. It's just um, styrofoam. So it just comes like in a yellow styrofoam. And then what I did was I covered it also using the sponge um, with 
the same metallic acrylic paint and then I put sparkles all over and then I just took um like markers and I just colored the tips of them red so it would look like there are like there's fire coming out of them I guess and then I also found these little like pottery dreidels and dreidel is a Hanukkah like toy that children play with and so I just thought these were so cute and I cannot show you what they came up but they're pottery so they came in like that orange pottery color and I literally used the same metallic gold and silver so I didn't splurge on many colors here um, and just coated them completely. Then the elevated part in the middle I just um, did like the other color, the opposite color so it kind of just added a little something to it. And that was so easy and it also dried in like maybe 10 minutes. I'm not kidding. So the next thing that I did actually is a traditional Hanukkah thing, but like I think it's really cute even if you don't celebrate Hanukkah. I just took a cookie jar or whatever kind of jar, candy jar, whatever you want to call it, and I filled it with chocolate covered coin or chocolate coins. Um, so, oh, so, and I actually found them in like the greatest colors ever. There was gold, green, and silver. And unfortunately I didn't find red, but I know there is red, so if you can get all four colors and then just put them all together, it just looks so pretty. And then another thing that I want to do is just another one just like this to fill it with red and green jelly beans, because I just love the way it looks, and then obviously you can eat them as well. And then another cheap, cheap, cheap decoration um, is just taking cutouts, and I'm not a good artist, so what I did here is literally you can go online and I'll actually link the, the site, I think, that if I can find it again, I will link below the site that I found these little uh, sketches and cutouts. I just printed them, cut them out, and then these I just colored in with markers, just like print plain old like children's markers. So this one is candy cane, obviously, easy. Um, I did a green tree and I also did a gold tree because I wanted to see how the acrylic paint would work on paper and it actually came out not so bad and I put some sparkles on that so that's really cute and then I also did two bows so one I did like with a reddish green design and I literally just drew that on with markers and then this one is um, just with the red I colored it in with red markers and then I put like red sparkles on top from the acrylic paints um, I have this little angel that I did in the silver metallic, so I'm going to have to, I don't know, I might leave it blank, I might draw something on that, I'm not sure yet. And then these ones I still have to draw or color in, and I figured I would just do that with you. So I have a little stocking that I put lots of red glitter on it and it made it look pink, so I'm going to have to do something about that. Um, and then gingerbread man and a snowman. Let's take the snowman for example. So what I did actually on my iPhone is I just found a picture of a snowman that I like and I'm just gonna copy more or less the design. And he's got kind of like a dotted smile. Super easy. And then I'm just going to color that all in red. And there's my little snowman. He's so cute. So to do your DIY stockings, you're going to need white felt. And this is a huge piece that I'm actually going to split into three because I'm going to be making three stockings. So I took just the third um, that I cut out and I left two pieces folded one on top of the other and I just put it on top of a newspaper just so that if I draw on it with the marker it won't go through to the table and I'm basically just going to draw a sock or a stocking and I'm going to make it rather large so that I do have room to spare when I glue or sew the edges and then around toe and then take it back up. So I'm cutting through it and I'm making sure to cut both pieces so that I'll get a double layer. So I'll get two the exact same. So what you're going to do once you have your outlined stencil is just put it on another piece of um, felt that's folded actually into four so that I can make more because I'm going to want to make several stockings and then just literally cut around 
yeah, there's Jungle with the felt. Just cut around and make just as many more um, shapes and outlines as you need. So just like so, that I've already made two. So once you have your two that are matching, we're going to want to either sew them or glue them together. Now you could use glue, so you could use the, um, like any fabric glue. This is the Gutterman one. I'm going to be using this later for something else. Um, so if you're young and you don't want to use um, a thread and needle, you're not allowed to, or you're just lazy and you feel like just gluing it, so just use the glue. I'm actually going to sew the, them together, so I'm going to take out one of my trusty needles here. And this is always the trickiest part for me. I can never get it in the little hole. I'm so bad at it. I try the whole like putting it in your mouth and everything. And Oh, actually, did I just get it in on the first try? Oh my gosh. Okay, you guys just witnessed history, I'm telling you. So I'm going to start from about here. So I finished sewing it up the whole way. Then I'm going to take a piece of red felt, and this is already cut into a strip, so that when I go halfway, this will stay together. So what I'm going to do actually is just glue these together. So now just glue this in half. And now we're just going to glue this and then just bring over the other side and glue it down. And there you go. You can decorate this any way you want. But also don't forget that you need to make a little loop because how else will you hang it? So just use the excess felt to one, one, uh, one part of the intersection and then one on the other side and then there you've got your little loop. So I'm just going to glue that in. And so there you have your little stocking and I think it is so cute and is so easy to make um, and it can be hung and I just think it's so cute. Yeah, I just really like it and it's easy to make. So go ahead, like have lots of fun with this. Um, I certainly am having lots of fun. I'm going to go ahead and make another one for me and another one for my husband. Um, and I'll hang them on that fireplace right there. I just love this season. So go ahead, have fun with it. Even if you don't celebrate Christmas like me, I mean, it's fun. Just put red candles around the house and some gold balls and there you go. So, I hope you have happy, happy holidays and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow.